All right, guys, so it has been a long time since I played my Iron Man. I believe when I got membership, it said something like 45 days, but honestly, that's probably the 45 days since I last logged in on Dead Man mode. When I actually played this account last, I have no clue, but it has definitely been a while. Um, so there's a lot of new content out in the game. Um, the hidey holes just came out today, and there's actually one in here, so that's pretty cool. Gonna have to look into that in a little while, but uh, uh, I was checking out that new Slayer Dungeon. The new Slayer Dungeon is one of the main things that kind of brought me back. Um, the, the boss monster in there, the Skeleta or whatever it's called, has the uh, shield left half on its actual drop table. So, getting the um, the uh, Dragon Square Shield for, that, uh, for the RD achievement is uh, a lot easier now with that thing. I know that it's not super common, but uh, I'm hoping with, you know, after a couple kills we'll get it. We'll get lucky, so... Yeah, that's one of the main things I wanted to look into, so I had a Slayer task of Bloodveiled. I don't know why I checked my quest tab as if there was going to be a Slayer assignment there to use to use to play on private servers. Um, so yeah, I did my mutated Bloodveiled task there, and uh, no no shards or anything like that, but I am definitely uh, definitely interested in, in that. So um, We're doing some, some teleport tabs right now, too. I don't know what I need for barrels. I can do barrels now. Okay. Um, I guess barrels is the only one. Any of these other ones good? I don't really think so. Drainer Manor, maybe. Yeah, not really. So we'll just make we'll just make all these. I don't know how many this makes. Is this gonna make like one per? Nice. So some barrels, teleport steps. I just figured while I was here, I might as well unlock some things. So I also got the um the teleport to Grand. Uh, you know that teleport you need the book for? When I got 100% favor originally, I for some reason did not get that book. Or if I did get it, I just didn't know what it was and didn't read it. So I had to go back and do that. Um, so I figured I'm just going to do a couple things here. And uh, I guess we'll get started with the episode, guys. Okay, I don't know what we got. Let's look. Cremate a set of fire remains. Isn't that the high fire making one? No, that's like 79 or it's... That's the one that a friend got. It's not that bad. It's magic pyre log, so I would need 75 magic. Or 75 fire making, which I'm at 63. Very nice. We just got ourselves 83 farming. This is a nice level because we can now do spirit trees without having to boost. Okay, I think this is my first clue scroll since all the new stuff. I do have that master clue scroll, but I haven't finished it yet. So, see what we get. And nope, it's another step. Oh, easy though. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is loot now. We talk to him, and boom! Charge, dragonstone jewelry. Is that, uh, I think that's actually pretty good. I think that's the thing you use to charge dragonstone jewelry? <laughs> Um, I guess let's take a look at it because, yeah, I haven't really looked into this update too much. Um, in fact, I didn't even know that there was third age, like, hatchet and pickaxe until, like, five minutes ago, so. Uh, we'll see. I'm pretty sure that's what that is. It just charges the glory remotely. So, I guess that is nice whenever I'm lazy. Um, I feel like because of the new eternal glory, I'll probably charge most of them at the, the fountain anyways. No. Oh, there you go. Okay, cool. So you just read it. Awesome. That's not actually that bad. I'll take it. Loot. No, it's not. Wow. And I clicked it too soon. Uh, a lot of alcohols in that. Wow. That's pretty much all alcohols. I'm like 99% sure that that's not the page I need. In fact, I want to say I have four page fours. This I have three, and then the bank of this will be the fourth. Um, let's check. That's not it. This one. Yeah, so this will be my fourth page four. Nice. Not bad, though. Alcables. Okay, guys, so I just did Tribal Totem. Tribal Totem <laughs> is a super easy quest, but it's just never needed for anything. So um, this is probably the first time I've ever, I've ever done it. I don't ever remember doing that quest. So, uh, yeah, that's out of the way. So now I believe we have eight quests left, and then um, that, that translates to 16 quest points. So, uh, yeah, we're almost there. We do have, unfortunately, some hard ones left being... Monkey Man is 2, Morning's End Part 2, and then Darkness of Hollow Vale. I'm pretty sure the rest of these are relatively easy, though. 
This is a pretty interesting quest. If you're like me and you really don't like doing quests, whenever you get to this one, you'll probably enjoy it. It's a little annoying, but uh, the quest is pretty funny, so it kind of makes up for it. And this should be the reward to return to burnt meat. And he gives me lots of burnt meat. <laughs> nice. How? How appropriate. I'm pretty sure this is human meat if you follow this quest, because at the beginning of it, he eats a dude. So, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Do I have to go? Oh, they want me to go back? Damn. Okay, yeah, so he did not reward us. Let's get this one. Wars aren't too bad. 10k herbal experience, 5k farming, and then access to this patch. I have a question for you guys. If you use this farming patch, um, is it worth it? I don't know. It feels like it's kind of out of the ways. It is disease-free, though, so I feel like it could be beneficial. I don't know. Let me know if you guys use this or not. Wow, I never realized how easy this quest is. This quest is insanely easy. Nice, we got ourselves the forgettable tale of a drunken dwarf. Got way too many things going on, so lagging like a boss. What does that put us at now? I believe we had, I said, I said we had eight, right? So, Cold War, Darkness of Hollowville, uh, those three, five? Still five left. So I already did three quests, which one? Oh, I did My Arms, Big Adventure, and Fairy Tale. Yeah, so we have five left. Um, yeah, that quest isn't too bad. The, uh, it does have these weird, like, um, puzzle thingies, but they're, um, they're, I guess it doesn't even show you the pictures. Like, these things are here, but they're pretty easy, so no big deal. Okay, so I just did a good chunk of Dark Beasts. To do Morning's End Part 2, I need a, uh, what is it called? A Death Talisman. And, uh, through the quest, you can trade the dwarf, like, 50 items to get the talisman, but that's a whole lot of effort, and it's kind of annoying, so I didn't want to do that. So I figured, since I'm only 89 Slayer, I would boost up to try to kill the, um, the Dark Beasts. And it went relatively well, but I did not get a drop, so, you know, it is what it is. How do you check your... Oh, I think you need a Slayer ring. Hold on. Check how many I managed to kill. I was just relogging after every kill. I did get a bunch of rune items, as you can tell from my inventory. And this is a couple... I, I did, like, three inventory, so... Uh, open log. Dark Beast. Dark Beast. 138. So we killed 138. The drop rate for the Talisman is 1 in 128. Um, but unfortunately, we didn't get it. I didn't get anything else too good. I got this Hard Clue Scroll and another Ancient Shard. So I only need one more for the... Um, arc light, but yeah, I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna finish up Slayer. I'm only 400k Slayer experience off, so I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get Quest Cave this episode. I'm not entirely sure, but we'll see. Awesome, we just got ourselves a Mud Battle Staff. Um, I'm sort of messing around with doing all three of them at the same time. Uh, my gear isn't very good, mostly my range gear, but it seems to be working out pretty well. And our first kill of the trip, we actually got a Mud Battle Staff. I'm very, very dry since the um, since the last uh, rings. I, I, I did get really lucky early on, so I'm not complaining, but 17 prime kill count is the first loot. And then after we finish killing this, I'll show you what my uh, um, supreme kill count is. And supreme, I haven't gotten a single loot from yet. I did get um, like an archer's helm, like a spine body, some of the, like, the... I believe those are the same rates as the good stuff, but... Nothing good, and I think I'm like 60-something kill count, and a spine body, 68, so, yeah, next kill will be nice, powerful, 69, let's, uh, let's get this thing too, but, uh, yeah, Mystic Mud, Mystic Mud Battle Staff. That's always a lovely sight, that is whip number six, six, and let me show you the log, is it rub? Log. Uh, Bizzle Demons. 1500 so in 1538 we got six whips my whip rng is very very nice unfortunately i'm 250 di dry at dark beasts but uh i can't complain it's always nice to see another whip add that to the collection how much is this thing nowadays it's a little under two mil it's not bad all right so i just finished a task of Aberrant Spectres, as you see, kill one number Spectre left. I did them in the new um, catacombs, where you have the um, Deviant Spectres, is I believe what they're called. And a lot of people were complaining about them, and they said that their defense is too high, and they're just not worth killing. Doing normal Aberrants is faster. And um, from what I can tell, doing normal Aberrants is definitely faster, but I got 100 Limpert Roots from that task. And I got like 5 Rune Chain Bodies, I got a ton of Battle Snaps, 
Um, if we do, if we check our herb, actually, if we empty because they'll all show up in the front part. Let's just do that. Empty. Uh, yeah, you can see the loot. And this is, um, this is actually, the, I think, the second inventory. I'm pretty sure I, I did something to the first inventory. So, um, yeah, it, it definitely is not bad at all. The, the 100 limp roots right there by itself makes it worthwhile. Um, because limp roots, in my opinion, are one of the more annoying, um, herbal or secondary to collect. Because with, like, white berries, you can just go pick those up. Uh, red spider eggs, you can pick those up. Eye of newts is the easiest. You can just buy those. Chocolate dust, buy them. Mort Meyer, you pick them up. Snape grass, you pick them up. Limpert roots, you have to either plant or kill a mob, um, a monster. And um, I got a hundred of those, so I'm very stoked about that. From now on, all of my Amber Inspector tasks will probably be done there, just for the Limpert roots. Um, I don't mind if it's slower. I'm not uh, one of those kind of players that does whatever is the fastest, most efficient method it is. I do whatever makes the most sense for me. Whatever is the most enjoyable, whatever will help me out in the long run. So getting those extra drops, even if it is slower, I don't mind, I don't care. Even if it wastes more prayer potions, again, I don't mind, I don't care. Um, I think, I mean, probably didn't make them back because I believe I used um, 15 to 20 prayer pots and we only got about 15 back. But I don't care. <laughs> I'll trade five prayer pots for 100 limper roots any day. Also got ourselves a clue scroll, we'll do that in a little bit. And we did get... I believe two more ancient shards so we now we have enough shards for a um for the arc light and we can you know almost uh, upgrade it or get add more charges to it got that clue scroll it's kind of nice now that they made it so that it's a reward casket so you know exactly when you're looting uh armadillo page three that sucks because i'm 100 percent sure it's armadillo page two let me uh check the bank just to double check more teleports i suppose those are fine um, I'm about pages. It's it's valuable, so it's nice to have that. Why are these two temps? Those seem like those are flipped. Um, three, four, yeah, one. Why are these two? Yeah. So we still need page two. Rip. Finished a cracking task. I did do a good chunk at the boss, and I did end up getting a tentacle. I didn't show that because I didn't really think it was worth showing since we've already seen like a couple of them. And on the last kill of the task, on the little ones, I actually got an uncharged trident, so that's pretty cool. Uh, see what our new task is, and um, in terms of Slayer experience, we're not too far off 150k now. I have a ton of stuff open, that's why I'm lagging, so no worries. Fire Giants, that's not bad, I'll do that. But uh, I think I'm going to end the video there. Thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed. I did want to get the quest cape in this episode, but I have enough clips for an episode, I just want to get this out, so we're going to upload it now. Thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed, peace.